Hey, it's Nutsi, and today we're gonna to go over four tips for vitality and vibrant health. Our bodies have a tremendous capability to regenerate and to repair and to restore and to give us vitality and vibrant health given a fighting chance. And I even believe it's encoded in our DNA for transformation and restoration and to have abundant health. And I, many times I believe that we undervalue the body's willingness to be healthy and to heal. Look at the example of if you break your arm or you cut yourself or you have a major surgery, your body goes to work immediately trying to restore and to repair and to make us whole again. And so we're gonna talk about four ways to have vitality and vibrant health and we're gonna really focus on how to combat EMF exposure or radiation exposure, which in turn will help us do some age reversal. When we talk about EMFs, electromagnetic fields, we're going to be talking about our own and then the ones that we are coming in constant contact with. And we know that we have an electromagnetic field because they have all of these tests that they can run to see what's happening in our body, such as an EKG, an ECG that tracks our heart, and then they can run an EMF, an ECG, a CT, an FMR. All of these things track our electromagnetic field and that's why they call our body the body electric. But every single process can be traced to an electromagnetic field that some component of the body is creating. And we are equipped to handle a certain amount of radiation or EMFs, but the problem is since the 1980s, we are getting 10 times the amount of radiation. And it's a big debate on how we are to combat this EMF exposure or radiation exposure. We're not gonna go into any of the things that are hot topics. We're just gonna talk about strategies and methods that really do work and that are natural and will give your body a fighting chance to fight off all of this radiation that we are being exposed to. And so I wanna go over the list it's quite lengthy of the ways that we come in contact with EMFs. And obviously the sun is a biggie and we have been having a lot of solar flares recently, but also it is the soil, x-rays, radiation therapy, power lines, fluorescent lights, cell phones, laptops, um, tablets, hair dryers, electric blankets, radios, satellite dishes, Bluetooth, and then the towers that they keep putting up everywhere for the 5G. So numero uno, number one, numero eins is iodine. So iodine is used by the thyroid gland to produce hormones and it helps regulate metabolism. And even more crucial than that, it repairs damaged cells and it supports the immune system by going in and scavenging free radicals. And then it's like a booster pack in the healing influence of antioxidants on the body. And to boot, it removes heavy metals out of our system. And so the easiest way to get iodine is to add iodized sea salt. And I buy this one, it's Hanes. Um, it's because it's made from evaporated seawater and it's non-GMO. But what has been happening is so many people have switched to pink Himalayan salt that they're not getting the iodine in their diet like they used to. So this is a really good way to add some more iodine by doing the iodized sea salt. And then seaweed is another really good one. And I'll put a better picture up, but this is the Gimme Organic Sea Salt Premium Roasted Seaweed. I just take this with me and eat it in my car. They're like little sheets. Or if I make some conglomeration of vegetables mixed together, I'll roll them in one of these. But this is also a really great way. But I think the number one way is iodine drops. And I'll list below where you can get this. And what is really great, what you will do is before you go to bed, you'll just put some drops on your wrist 
and you'll rub your wrist together. And then in the night, the body will come grab that off the skin. And how you know that you have had enough is that it will be still there in the morning. But most people are critically low on iodine, so it's gonna take a little bitty bit. But I really believe this is probably the, the best way, but it is the number one way to fight radiation and to help your body reverse some of the signs of aging. The second one is cell phones. When you're talking on your cell phone, be sure to put it on speaker or put your earbuds in and hold it away from your head. And definitely don't carry it on your person, like in your front pocket or back pocket or in your bra. There's a big controversy going on about how younger people are getting cancers in places that they've never gotten them before and it can be correlated to where they carry their phones. I don't want to get into all that. But, you know, we do have 10 times the radiation exposure that we did in the 80s, and we are very, very device heavy in our society. So keep it on speaker would be the best. And then when you sleep at night, get it at least six feet away from your head and possibly put it on airplane mode if you can. And then if you're sitting in front of your computer all day, every day, take some breaks during the day. That is a lot of electromagnetic field exposure. Just get up, take a break, go outside, take some deep breaths, get your feet in the grass. That will really help counteract all of the radiation exposure. And then the next one is green tea, organic green tea. And this is the one that I'm drinking right now. It's P-U-K-K-A. I just buy whatever organic green tea is the on sale or the least expensive. But they did a study in 2018 and they were looking at workers who were exposed to those big heavy overhead power lines and they found out that they were having some cell damage. And so they did nothing but give them green tea, two to six cups a day and they found a significant drop in the damage due to long-term exposure to green tea. Glutathione is next, and glutathione is the body's primary defense against radicals, and it is present in every cell of the body. It really is a super duper detoxifier, and it has super powers in fighting or eliminating or lowering inflammation. Now our liver is our chief detoxifier of the body. If you look at the word, it's L-I-V-E, live, and then they stuck an R on the end of it because it is so important in keeping the body free of toxins. And what's great about glutathione and iodine, they can actually go in and repair a damaged liver. And so glutathione is really, really important and it regenerates vitamin C and E as well as it removes mercury from the brain and it really is helpful if you have skin problems. And how we can get glutathione is through spinach and broccoli and asparagus and avocados. Supplementation is a little bit tricky tricky because a lot of times it doesn't make it out of our digestive system in order for us to be able to use it efficiently or effectively. So I've recently partnered with a company called LifeWave and they have these phototherapy patches, which this isn't glutathione, so to speak. It is a patch that encourages the body to create its own glutathione, which is a much better way to do it. So glutathione is vitally important to reverse aging and for our overall health. Since you stayed till the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus one and it's fermented foods such as sauerkraut and kimchi. It really is one of the most effective ways to boost the body's ability to digest and absorb. And the one that I'm really digging is this wild brine, red beet and cabbage organic kraut. They have other um, flavors, but I really like this one a lot because it has beet and cabbage and it really does increase the body's good bacteria. 
I'm not opposed to supplementation. The only problem is a lot of times the supplements or the probiotics can't get past the hydrochloric acid in the gut. And so with just as little as two tablespoons a day, you're going to increase your vitamin C and your vitamin K and your minerals such as iron and calcium and magnesium and selenium and folate. It is high in phytochemicals and nutrients and obviously probiotics. Because what happens is they take the shredded cabbage and they put it in an airtight container with salt and they leave it in there and let it ferment and those microorganisms then break down the cabbage and cause the fermentation process and what happens then is that microorganisms in the cabbage or the kimchi or whatever it is that you're ingesting that's fermented is first aid for the body the body loves it and it stays intact through the GI tract so the bonus tip is eat at least two tablespoons a day of fermented foods to quickly recap, number one was iodine, and we can get that through seaweed, iodized sea salt, and then also the um, iodine drops, which I think is really a great way because once you have enough, you're putting it on your wrists at night, then you know it's still there in the morning and you can back off for a day or two. And the next one was cell phones. We certainly want to put it on speaker um, if you don't want to do that. If you want to do earbuds, that's also a good alternative, but speakers would be best. And then don't wear it on your person, not in your pocket front or back, not in your bra, and then you don't want to sleep with it by your head. And if you're in front of a computer all day, get up, take a break. Don't have a device with you 24 seven. Go outside, put your toes in the grass, do a little grounding. That will go a long way to helping you combat the radiation that we're bombarded with. And then we talked about glutathione. It is the master detoxifier of the body. It's very helpful to the liver. And we can get glutathione through broccoli and spinach and asparagus and avocados or the LifeWave patches is a really great way to encourage the body to use glutathione most effectively. And then we talked about last but not least, the bonus was the fermented foods. In only two tablespoons a day, you can give the body the superpower to digest and absorb what you eat. And so I really hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I really feel like the reason that I was created or one of the reasons and my passion is to help people understand that our bodies are amazing. We are wonderfully made and encoded in our DNA is the ability to transform, to regenerate and repair. So until next time, be blessed.